How you doing today? Thursday. Let me jump into Thursday. Like, check out the work I will put out today. It's all about jumping. It's gonna help your endurance, your agility, your strength, your core. It's everything you need. We're always looking for ways to challenge you. We're always looking for ways to, you know, keep you working out, keep you moving, you building strength. We're always trying to, to figure out ways to make it so that you get something out of your workouts every day. So it's not the same, you know, it's monotonous movement all the time. So I thank you for all of you that have chosen and continue to follow us. And, and then we had a comment today about, you know, finding some uh, alternative movements to the workout and we will gladly do that so thank you for that comment and um yeah so try to work that out leave some feedback leave, some, leave us a comment however this video is not about that today it's not about the workout um it's about something very i think uh, uh important to us to you to all of us and it's around fear fear right um, yesterday we made a, we did a video about change I think change is rooted in fear perhaps we get caught up in the changes we have to make and and those changes bring up things in us that are keep us from moving forward. We're changing a job. You're fearful of what that job would look like, if that job would be a fit, right? You're bringing something into your home and you, you start to worry about what that will look like, what changes will happen, what changes you have to make. Like right now, our current state right now is um, Chris is going back to work. The kids are going back to school. There's that fear right now because it's changed. We're not going back to what was. We're going back to what's now. And so parents are fearful of, obviously with the whole COVID-19, with the whole virus, What's it going to be like? You're wearing masks. Classrooms are not going to be the same. The whole world is not the same. You are not the same. But that change brings that fear in us. And it can be very crippling. Real fast. You know, I... You know, I, I had a, I had a conversation with my wife this morning. You know, after our workout, because I knew something was not. She didn't feel right about something, and I could tell from the energy I was getting from her. And that was because she was going back to school, so she's not sure what she's going to come across, what she's going to face, the challenges. What are they going to be like? And yes, it's easy to say, you know, don't worry, you'll be fine. But that's not the truth. It doesn't work like that. I know it doesn't work like that. You know it doesn't work like that. It just doesn't, you don't snap your finger and then it goes away. And I tried to explain to her that you're rather, you know, fear is some, fear is a futuristic mindset of what can be, what could be. And I told her, instead of thinking that way, why don't you just stay in the now? Be in the now and let's leave what's going to happen. Let it happen. Let's work on what's today. And when tomorrow comes, we'll face that challenge. Doesn't mean you don't have, have those thoughts coming into your mind every now and then, but it's capturing those thoughts and make sure they don't fester and make sure they don't ruin your current moment. Because that's what fear will do. You know, for me, you know, 
I've had a lot of, I've had a few fair few moments and I've let it fester, I've let it consume me. And even when I'd given my life to Christ, even then I profess that, you know, he's my Lord and Savior. I have still let fear take me over. And why, And that's because I wasn't, I wasn't consistent in my talking of Jesus. I wasn't. I thought I was. I thought I had it all. That you know, once I once I professed, said I was you know follower, that everything would just come together. But it did not come together like that. And I know some of us and some of you are in that position right now that you're thinking that well, I'm a follower, so why come I still have all these fears? Our faith is a muscle we have to develop, just like working out. We have to develop, we have to continue to grow. And to continue to grow is to continue to read, is to continue to pray, is to continue to stay connected with Him, to continue to talk with Him, continue to lean into Him. Because that's the only way you're going to overcome fear. You know, we say we're well, faith, but when you fear, it's like you're telling God that is what he's told you is not true. Right? And I've in my heart I've come to challenge those thoughts. When those fear time comes, when those anxiety moments come, I've come to tell I've come to ask myself those questions. This is not what God has told me. This is not what He has promised me. This is not what He has shown me. This is not where He's brought me to this point. Yes, those things are real. But I know I can overcome them because he's told me I can overcome them. Right? And, um, you know, you are now a changed person. You are a different person. The minute you accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are a different person. And, I, and I've heard, you know, I've heard people, even... A friend has told me, it, you can't change. You can't change. Change is hard. Change is, you, you know, you've grown up in this culture. You've grown up in this world. Certain things have been ingrained into you. And so how do you let go of that? And I'll tell you this. You can. You can. It's not going to be easy. But you can. Because the minute you accept their Christ, this is what it says, 2 Corinthians 5, 17. Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he's a new creation. The old things have passed away. Behold, all new things have become new. That is so powerful. Is knowing, is knowing that, okay, my old self is done with. You can't dwell on that whole self any longer. And I'm, I'm going to take you on with the journey between my wife and I, our relationship. You know, as we can, as you know, when we got married, we're now one, and we're all bringing in different perspectives of, you know, of ourselves into one home, under one umbrella. And there are certain arguments we will have, and I will always say this: "It's how I am. It's how I am. It's how I was raised. It's what I know." And we'll have arguments and, and, you know, and she will encourage me to change and vice versa. I will encourage her to change her ways as well. But it was always a constant struggle because I will always bring that up. Are you doing the same thing? Are you constantly bringing up that? This is how I am. This is how I was raised. This is what I was taught. I'm not saying those are wrong because I don't know what they are. However, if you've given your life to Christ, if you've accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, that means you accepted, you're saying the old things are done with, I am now a new creation. Now you're, you're allowing the new, the, his word, his, his promises, his, his, his strength, all that is now flowing into you. And now you have to let it 
now it's now the, it's now it's a choice you have to make now to, for those to uh, to take those absorb them and take them in and start making those changes and yes those changes will push you to different places because you are going against the world you know there's another verse i can't remember exactly right now but it says you know do not conform to the pattern of the world you know do not conform to the pattern of the world and doing that is you're having two worlds collide and yes it can happen but you gotta stop the this is how i am because it's no longer how you were this is who you are now you are a new creation so how are you going how are you going to let that new creation move forward is by stop going back to the old self it might creep up that negative that negative thought that negative voice might creep up and say hey hey this is who you are but capture that thought right away dismantle it because you are a new creation you are learning new things you are learning new ways Christ way Jesus way right um you know I uh there's a there's a there's a there's an amazing there's an amazing song that I, I listen to by um by Jeremy Camp and it's called uh you know keep me in the moment keep me in the moment and I hear that song over and over again when I you know I just that's that's one of my ways of connecting with God when I listen to gospel music. I listen to gospel music in the car. I listen to gospel music um, maybe before bed. I listen to gospel music when I'm exercising. I listen to gospel music when I'm by myself. It's my way of connecting. And you know, this particular one is about you know, keep me in the moment. Leave with my eyes wide open. I don't want to miss out on what you have for me. Show me what matters. Throw away what I am chasing after. That's powerful. Keep me in the moment. Keep me in the moment. Throw away what I'm chasing after. You know, that 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 right there is talking about the changes you want to make in your life the whatever fear is coming towards you it doesn't matter they will come but you know you can stand you're powerful you are a new creation um you know there's another verse i've i've read many times and perhaps you've read it too and Maybe you've got it. Maybe you've got it. Maybe you figured it out. And it's a, uh, it's um, Mark eleven twenty three. Truly, I tell you, if anyone says to this to this mountain, go throw yourself into the sea, and does not doubt in their heart, but believes that what they say will happen, it will be done for them. So I say to you right now is. The mountain. And I've read that you just. just Sometimes, you know, maybe perhaps your current state or where you are, you might not have connected with that. So, what is the mountain? What is your mountain? What mountain is in is in your what mountain is 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 in your way right now that is blocking you from making that change? You know what my mountain was? Which perhaps maybe it's yours too, and you just don't know it. My mountain is me i am in my own way i've gotten in my own ways so many times i've doubted in myself even when the spirit has told me to do something i've doubted it i'm thinking that's not possible i could i, I don't i don't get that it doesn't how how It's, it's believing, it's believing that I am new. It's believing that you are new. So when fear comes, when fear comes, Isaiah, 
41 10 says so do not fear for i am with you do not be dismayed for i am your god i will strengthen you and help you i will uphold you with my righteous hand righteous right hand what do you think he's gonna do because all you know as we move forward today there's so many things that are going to come along some of them you won't see them coming you're going to step right into there but he's telling us that he's going to be right there with us in the storm in the rain in the chaos right even in that mountain that mountain which is me he's right here with me telling me right now do not fear do not be dismayed i am with you i will strengthen you i will lift you with my righteous right hand so i don't know where you are right now i don't know what challenges you're facing right now i don't know what mountains you have in front of you right now but you can tell that mountain to move and it will move why because you are new you are a new creation the old, new, the old is done you are now new and if you believe that i promise you things will change i've seen changes in my life already and there's more to come there's still some things that i'm see that i still struggle with but every day it's my prayer that lord strengthen me and if not show me what it is you want to show me in this in this space i'm in right now what it is am i missing because sometimes we quickly want to get out of, 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 of a situation. Rather, maybe staying in that space to see what we're supposed to learn. Right? You know, I'm going to ask you this question. And I wrote it down. And I said, you know, I'm going to ask you this question. And, um, you know, of all the famous people you know, every single one, and all the billionaires, zillionaires, whatever, all of them, who do you know? has unmerited grace? Who do you know has un unlimited love? Who do you know has unstoppable strength? Who do you know can make the impossible possible? Who can make mountains move? Who can part seas? Who can change the heart of a stone into flesh? Name one person. One. I don't care. One person you know. None. The only one there is is Jesus. He's done it and he's still doing it. I'm not saying that the journey will be easy. Because we don't want easy. I don't I know I don't want easy. But sometimes I know easy is almost like a comfort thing. I think we misconstrue those two things. We want comfort. We just we want we just want everything to just be smooth you're working and you're doing things you have the project you want to do and you want it to go smooth there's nothing wrong with that but when you come out across that crossroads what are you doing how are you changing are you letting fear bury you from moving forward today i hope i've connected with you today and i hope i've shared you know something you know about myself and there's, there's always a lot more and I'm, I'm gonna keep on sharing that is what this platform is for it's our love for family for you for our lord and savior it's fitness because we love to work out and it's our faith what keeps us grounded what keeps us grounded that's 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 the foundation without that all this won't be, be happening i won't even be sitting right here with you right now talking I hope I've connected with you. I hope I've said something. And please, you know, I don't, I'm not, I'm not a pastor. I'm not a theologian. I'm not any of those. I'm just Benga. And I love God. I love God. And he loves me and he loves you too. So let's talk. Leave your comments. Let's talk. All right. Benga. Filled by faith, love, and fitness. Have a beautiful Thursday and jump into it with that exercise I shared with you guys this morning. God bless.